Uh, Councillor Mike Hardware, the portfolio holder for strategic, strategic growth planning, you sent out this press release looking for the public views on on planning matters for their input. On all, can you explain a little bit more? Well, this is something we want to do much more of, is to involve the residents in our uh, decision making. What, what a, a supplementary uh, planning document is, it basically takes the aspiration and turns it into the reality, gives the guidance to the applicants and then the guidance to the planning committee uh, when it's deciding on the application. And, and is this really born out of the, what you can only describe as the Catherine's experience? Uh, no, this has been uh, in the process of being pulled together uh, over a number of months uh, uh, and it, is, uh, it has five sections uh, and the key ones which are in here uh, are to do with tall buildings in the town centre. Um, it's uh, quite key because we have a number of applications in for tall buildings in the town centre but we don't have a policy to say how high they are. So we're keen to hear what residents uh, have to say about height in the town centre. And when you say the town centre, I, I know we can't talk about specific, we've got to be careful with, with planning applications. So, for example, I just put a piece on about somewhere in Witch Elm, and the first thing people commented on is the possible height. Can people have any input onto specifics or generals? Is that what you're really looking at? Yeah, I mean, this is just an overarching policy, because uh, Sir Freddie Gibbard uh, said in his uh, 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 vision for the town that um, height should be considered in the town centre. And we have traditionally had quite a, a few high buildings, quite a few that have been knocked down and demolished, uh, but we, we now have applications for others We don't have a policy, so you know, it can't guide uh, a new applicants or be the, the planning committee. Planning can be quite a dry issue, can't it? And it's a lot of people, quite a boring issue, until it happens in their street, doesn't it? And is it you really appealing to people to really get on board, even if it's not in your street? Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, people are not interested unless it's in their backyard, and that's only when construction starts. So we are trying to encourage people to get involved far earlier so that they can help uh, form the policies that will decide future planning applications. And this particular appeal you're making, is this going to be part, you've now been in just since middle of May, uh, but is this almost part of, of the way you want to go forward uh, as not only as a councillor but as a portfolio holder, but of your vision for Harlow, is this part of your vision? I am always a, a great believer in residents uh, uh, voicing their opinions, both at policy time and also when applications come in. So yes, this is all part of mine and the new administration's policy. We are going to engage people far more, far more proactively. We're going to encourage them to give their views so that we can form our policies around them, not just our own. Mike Harder, thank you very much.